Hi, I know I said I was not going to do interruptions in the beginning of the videos anymore, but I am going to be doing um, trigger warnings and stuff like that in the beginning. I realized I have not been doing those and there have been a lot of sh a lot of strong language and yeah, but there is mentions of alcohol in this one as well. So I'm kind of just hoping that if you guys have seen my videos before and you are a part of the Clumsy series, you are aware that there is some strong language occasionally in the videos. So, anyways, part four, Clumsy, here we go. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> it had been a couple of weeks. You and Eddie hadn't made it official if you were dating. Probably because the both of you never really done anything like this before. You knew you wanted to call him your boyfriend, and you definitely knew you liked him. Just by all the little gestures he's given you, like calling you at random times on the weekends or the night, just to tell you how much he loves you. Or randomly showing up at your house at night and sneaking into your window just to talk for hours on end. Till it was morning and he had to hurry out before your dad could came to wake you up and would catch him or leaving notes in your locker every morning so you'd get them when you showed up to school or coming up behind you in the hall and asking guess who or randomly taking you out for lunch dates in the forest instead of eating at the hellfire table whom you had also made friends with in this time but it just bothered you on how you never actually said you're dating him. So it was a Friday. You and Eddie met up at your locker since he had passed you a note earlier asking you to meet up. Okay, so we are. <laughs> so I was thinking we could hang out at Garrett's. We have band practice tonight. Like, yeah. He said you could come and chill if you wanted. You were having drinks and relaxing after practice, so I figured you'd want to join. No, no, it's not a party. No, just a band relaxing, hanging out. Then, after we can go back to my place and you could have a sleepover or just hang out. I picked up a movie last night and I still haven't gotten a chance to watch it. So maybe we could do that. Or whatever. I don't really care. I just want to hang out with you. Yeah? You'll come over? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm going there right now, but we're going to be practicing for a while, like a couple hours, so I'm not sure if you want to be there for that it's you want to come okay and no are you sure you're gonna be really bored and you can get cranky when you're bored sweetheart no you're sure okay okay i'm just making sure so we can go there now then grab your shit let's go Hey, can you look at me for a second? Why are you burying your face in your locker? What's wrong? Hey, what's wrong? No, something's wrong. What's on your mind, huh? What do you mean, are we dating? We never made it clear. You're worried if I actually want to date you? You're right. We never made it clear. I totally forgot, I guess. I just... I guess ex excited. I, just, I got excited with how in love I am with you. That I never made it clear, huh? I love you. You are my lover. You're mine. And I'm yours. And that's that. Yes, we are dating. Oh. In fact, I am dating one of the prettiest, coolest, 
sexiest human being alive in the history of the universe. So, of course, I want to date you. I mean, how could I not? I love you. Now let's go, damn it. Eddie would grab your hand and walk you to his van. He would then open the passenger door and help you in like the gentleman he is. He would then run over to the driver's seat and start up the van to then proceed to look around for his Judah Priest tape. Fuck. Where did it go? No, my tape. I bought it like last month. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, you can, you can help. Uh, it should have been in the console. No, it, it's a Judah Priest. No, it, it, Turbo 30 album on tape. Yeah, the new one. Oh, you found it? <laughs> yes. Yes, baby, that's one. Thank you. Whew. What would I do without you? Okay, we can go now. Yeah. You and Eddie would soon later arrive at Gareth's house. The rest of the band waiting for Eddie, you guys would walk to the garage together, and you would sit down on the couch next to Eddie as they practice. Being bored out of your mind, giving Eddie a little kiss between each song, or just trying to cling on to him, hoping he'd get the hint you were bored. Eventually, he got the hint, but he knew you liked enjoying time with him either way. He eventually would give you his rings to fidget with, so you would try them on. They didn't fit, other than one that was meant for his pinky. He would let out a warm smile to you, just admiring how adorable you were. Eventually, the band would be done practicing, and you'd lay your head on his, on his lap, and he'd play with your hair, giving you all the attention, all of the attention you were waiting for. You would both have a drink in your hand, and you were slowly drinking it like everybody else. After a couple hours, Eddie was drunk. You were maybe a little tipsy, but at least smart enough to know neither of you should drive home now. Gareth agreed to let you sleep, let you two sleep on his couch in the garage as he closed the garage door and went to bed. Yeah, good night, Gareth. Uh. <laughs> what? Sorry, no, I'm not laughing at you, you cutie pie. No, never, baby. I love you too much. Unless you do something dumb, then I might laugh at you, but yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, you want to go to sleep? We can do that. Yeah. I love you. No, I do. I really, really do. I love you. <laughs> okay, I'll be quiet. But seriously, I love you. You're amazing. Okay? Come here. Come in my arms. Because this is a small couch and we got to share. So come lay on top of me. Yep. Ugh. You comfy? Good. I love you, sweetheart. Good night. Boop. Yeah, I booped you on the nose. Is that okay? Good. Go get some rest. 